I'm Megan, and I'm here with Milo today. And thank you, Somatic Yoga Friends, for being with us for this practice. It's about having freedom in your hips and your pelvis, and we're going to play with several different ways to do a very common movement in yoga called windshield wipers. So windshield wipers can it's typically done on your backside and the legs go side to side, just picture windshield wipers. But we're gonna take our vehicle, this earth suit, into different positions and play with the windshield wipers and just see how we can find different muscles by initiating from those windshield wiper movements from different areas in our body, and also how gravity has an effect with those windshield wipers, depending on are we on our backside, our side body, our front body, and we'll be on all of those. So I do encourage you to grab a blanket. Milo just left his behind. I'd give it to you if I could. Put it across your, your mat if you want a little extra padding, and we'll get started. So coming on to our backside first. <clears throat> Take your legs into your body and just hold your backs, your thighs, your shins, and just rock around a little bit, back and forth, side to side, like you're massaging the back of your sacrum. And this is just going to help us to land. And in landing, the first thing we want is we want to feel safe and comfortable. And then we want to set the feet on the ground with the knees bent, about hip distance apart. See if you can just let yourself find the floor underneath you. Your feet, the back of the hips, the spine, the shoulders, even the arms and the whole skull, everything touching the ground. So you can be whatever vehicle you want with your windshield wipers. But before we drive our vehicle, we always set the GPS. So landing is your opportunity to set your GPS. And in order to do that, where are you starting from? How do you feel right now in your body? What's your mental attitude? And how are you breathing? Think of your breathing like your gas. It's your energy that's, that's filling your body. We wanna find the breath in its rhythm and its depth. So you might place one hand on your belly and one on your chest. Take a few breaths just to notice how long your inhalation is. You could even count it out if you'd like. That oxygen going in, energy going in your body. And then take a few breaths to notice the out-breath, that release of carbon dioxide. And see how long that is. And throughout this practice, we'll do our best to use that breath pattern that we just found to move our body. So pace yourself in the movement to the pace of the breath. So starting simply, you can keep your hands where they are or take them to your sides, feel your feet. And we'll use gravity to make this first windshield wiper movement. This is the typical one that you see in yoga. As you exhale, just let your legs fall to the left. So you're not pushing them, you're letting them fall with gravity. Think gravity on the exhale. Inhale, lift them back up. There's your levity. And exhale, let them fall the other way. A very simple movement. Let's see if you can make this movement from your feet. So as you're exhaling, feel yourself tip onto the pinky toe side of the right foot, big toe side of the left as the knees go to the right. Come back up, flat footed on the inhale, that's the effort. And as you exhale, left pinky toe, right big toe, just letting them fall and lift back up. Let's do a few on your own and notice how does that feel? Sense the arching of your waist. Feel the smushing in one hip as it goes into the ground. And what we recognize in this movement, we'll take the next one to the left and we'll stop just for a moment so we see what's going on here is this left leg is in external rotation. It's turning away from the body. And it's going away from the center of the body, so we call that abduction. Your top leg, the right leg, is in 
a little bit more of an internal rotation and it's coming across the center of the body into, into the midline, so we call that adduction. So just notice the position of the two legs. Come back up and then exhale and go the other way. Again, just notice one leg is inward rotated and going to the right, falling in, and the right leg also going to the right, but is more of an external rotation. So that's the pattern we're going to be playing with throughout this practice. Come back up to center. Take your feet together now. And now as you inhale, press into the pinky toe side of the left foot, big toe side of the right foot, squeeze your thigh bones together, take both legs over as far as you can to the left. Exhale, come back to center. So think we're switching the breath around now because I want the movement part of coming into the windshield wipers to be the effort. Reach with your thigh bones, with your kneecaps, press into the edges of your feet. Exhale, back to center. The other thing you can add is whichever way the knees are going, the opposite arm could reach over. So as your legs go to the right, you might reach for your left arm to get a little more stretch to your side body, your outer left hip. Exhale back, squeeze your legs together, inhale, legs to the left, reach your right arm overhead, and exhale back. So you can press into the feet to, to create the motion. You could also think of lifting the one hip or pushing into the bottom hip. How can you make this motion to your end range, but in a way that's comfortable? Just do one or two more. Always an opportunity to just stop and rest in any position. And back to the center and pause. So now we're going to take the feet wider than the hips. You can look and see. You should be able to see your heel outside of your hip. We're going to work with just one leg at a time. So I'm going to start with my left leg. Visualize your left leg and your left foot and feel the big toe side of the left leg. And now as you inhale, come on to the big toe side, push into the big toe side, reach your left kneecap towards the front right corner of the mat. So we're doing just the internal with the left leg, half of a windshield wiper. And then exhale, come back. And you might notice you can get a little bit deeper into that internal rotation, inhaling, feeling the waist arch, the lengthening through the outer hip. Exhale, relax. And you can add the left arm to this, reaching the left arm. I also like to just sort of let my head roll. That shows that your neck is relaxed, your face and your jaw. Sliding the arm, reaching through the left side body. And if you've been moving from your foot by pushing into the big toe side on the inhale, see if you can switch it around and think of reaching your thigh bone. So does it feel different to reach from your thigh and just let your foot naturally follow? And then you can also do the same movement from your hip itself. So if on the inhalation you think of lifting your buttocks, your left butt cheek off the ground, you'll notice that's completely different than moving from my foot first. So squeeze the buttocks and then make the movement. And I'm doing my best to try to keep my right knee where it is. So not letting both legs fall. And just enjoy this movement a few more times, however you want to create it. The hip the knee or the foot. And then we'll pause for a moment. Walk your feet a little bit closer together. So now we're going to work on the external rotation with the left leg. So feel the pinky toe side of your left foot. And on an inhalation, drop the thigh open and exhale, come back up. So start with just that. Inhale, dropping the left thigh open. You can come onto the pinky toe or you can even draw the kneecap out to the left or the thigh bone. Exhale, back to center. Inhale, drop open and exhale back. If you want a little more ju juice for this one, you can lift your right leg off the ground, just letting the foot dangle or even what I like to do is extend my leg up towards the sky, get a little stretch through the hamstrings, but you can keep your knee bent. But what this is gonna help do is 
When you drop to that left leg, you might notice your right hip is trying to lift off the ground. And if we keep that right hip down, you're gonna get a little more stretch and more for the actual hips. So dropping the left leg out, you can also drop the right leg out a little bit, more inner thigh stretch. And then exhale, you might even cross the legs and squeeze a little bit, let the left leg come across the midline. Inhale, open up. And exhale like you're crossing your legs, like, like you're gonna sit in a chair, and it might be with a bent leg too. Inhale, open, and exhale, close. The other thing we're doing is we're timing this with the breath. If you've done some of my other videos, the inhalation stretches the transversus abdominis, the, all the abdominal muscles and the pelvic floor muscles. So you can think of your two sits bones and you might feel that stretch through the belly, through the pelvic floor. As you exhale, you can squeeze and think of drawing in the abdominal muscles and the pelvic floor. They're gonna recoil towards the spine. Inhale, let pelvic floor and abdominal muscle stretch. Exhale, draw them in. So this is a handy way to start to bring more balance and relaxation into the hips to get those transverse abdominis, transverse abdominis and the pelvic floor muscles on board letting some of the other muscles stretch like your inner thighs. And then take one more. Next time you exhale, bring the thighs together and let the back of the right thigh just hang on the left thigh. So you're gonna let it hang like you're sitting in that chair. You might wanna take your arms out to your sides. Sense your left foot, big toe and little toe side. We'll start with the big toe side. Now as you inhale, Tip onto the big toe side of the left foot. Your knees will go to the right. Exhale, come back to center. Feel the pinky toe side, inhale. Legs to the pinky toe side. Exhale, back to center. So still a play on windshield wipers. Still raining in your vehicle, right? But the difference here is we're giving the right leg a ride on the left leg. Let that right leg be passive. A passive passenger, your left leg is doing the driving. Keep your shoulders relaxed. You can let your head float from side to side. and then pause at the center for a moment. We're gonna be doing another one this, with this movement, but before we do, just bring your legs in towards your body and maybe roll around a little bit like we did in the beginning. See how that feels for you, just to roll on your pelvis. And let the left foot come back down. So we're gonna Add a little bit more for the hips and bring the torso in because it's really nice if we're working with the hips. I look at full body patterns, meaning we don't want to work with the hips without recognizing they're attached to the rest of our spine and our torso. So we're going to create a rotation. So you're going to take your arms, fingers up towards the sky, and then notice your right leg is on top. So we actually want the left arm on top. So left arm closer to your face right arm closer to your legs. You can touch right arm to right leg. And then turn your palms towards one another. You can clasp the fingers into a little basket. Draw your hands right over your face, but then plug your arm bones into your shoulder blades. So instead of lifting the shoulder blades off the ground, see if you can let them settle down. And just feel this position first. So this is gonna be a game of windshield wipering the shoulder girdle and the pelvic girdle in opposite directions. A little bit of effort on the inhale, come back to this center position on the exhale. So feel the big toe side of your left foot. And as you inhale, come on to the big toe side of the left foot and come on to the left shoulder blade. So arms are coming to the left, knees to the right. Exhale back to center. Now you're gonna inhale, knees to the left, arms to the right. Exhale, center. So it might feel a bit ungratifying at first because I know you can probably twist further, but it's about letting the two girdles, the shoulders and the hips go in the opposite direction. 
Inhaling into the movement, exhaling back to center. And in somatics, we play with things like how are we making the movement? Not only from where, but how. So in doing this movement, when your knees are going to the left, you might pick your right hip up or you might push into the pinky toe side of the left foot. Those are two different things. And likewise with your shoulders. As your knees go to the left, you could lift your left shoulder. You could also push your right shoulder blade into the ground. Maybe a combination of the two. So we work with the ground by pushing into the ground or pulling away from the ground to create the force to recruit the muscles to do this little rotation. And feel that right in the center of your spine, your torso, and just one or two more. Back to the center. Let your arms come down, uncross your legs, draw them back into your body and just roll around a little bit. You can even take your legs up towards the sky, towards a happy baby if you'd like. And then before we switch sides, let's land again in our, reset our GPS. Wherever you started from, maybe your feet were on the floor, legs can be long. Just feel the two sides of your body. Stay present and whatever sensations are there in stillness. Notice if one leg feels longer or shorter, the way your hips are in contact with the ground. Any changes to your sides of your body, your left waist or right waist. We're just noticing. And this is also an opportunity to go back to whatever your breath pace was that you set. Can you find that again? And are you honoring that breath pace in the movement? Nice equal inhale and exhale. The inhale being the effort. And the exhale, the relaxation. All right, so coming out of that magic moment of just noticing any changes in the body when we're still. Place the feet back on the ground. And widen the feet so they're a little bit wider than the hips. You might even feel for your right heel. And feel your right foot and leg and hip. Sense the big toe side of the right foot. And as you breathe in, push into that big toe side. Let your right leg come across the center of the mat. Right knee towards left front corner. Exhale, come back up. Finding the timing of the breath. Try to keep your left leg still. Kneecap up towards the sky. It's just that half windshield wiper for the right leg. If you want to add your right arm reaching to get a longer space through your left side, or excuse me, right side body, you can do that. I also like to just let my head roll wherever it wants to go. And if you've been moving from your foot by pushing into the big toe side on the inhale, maybe think of moving from your big, strong femur bone. Take that right femur bone towards the front left corner or even your kneecap. But then there's also the ability to actually move this from your pelvis. So think of squeezing the muscles in the right outer hip and the buttocks. You'll feel it differently because it'll lift that hip up. And once you feel the hip lift, then let the leg go forward. So that's different if I start from my foot, it looks more like that. If I start from my hip, there's more lifting and arching in the back. But can you turn on those muscles around the pelvis to get that leg over? It's different than just letting gravity have its way with you and letting the legs fall to one side. Enjoy one more round of this internal rotation and adduction of the hip. 
You can stop and pause if it feels good to just hang out there. Half of a windshield wiper. Actually, half of a half, a quarter of a windshield wiper. We're only going one direction with one leg. <laughs> and then come back to the center. You can walk your feet in a little bit so they're more uh, in line with your hips. And now we'll do the external rotation with the right leg. So feel the pinky toe side of your right foot. And on inhalation, let the right leg drop open. You might even place a hand on your left hip because you'll notice as you do that, what happens is you drop the leg open and the left hip lifts up. So it kind of takes away from the inner thigh stretch and it becomes more of a torso movement, which is okay. But if you want to get more of a true hip movement, what you can do is lift that left leg off the floor and just keep your knee bent and inhale, drop both legs open. Or as I did in the last time, you can take the leg and extend it up. It's a little hamstring stretch, but you can keep the knee bent. As you drop onto the pinky toe side of the right foot, also drop the left leg open. A little bigger stretch for both inner thighs. And you'll notice then that left hip's not lifting up. And exhale, bring the legs back, maybe even cross the left thigh on the right. Inhale, opening. Exhale, closing. And there's that opportunity again. As you inhale, the diaphragm's contracting. It's doing the work. And the belly muscles, the strong belly muscles, the pelvic floor are stretching. See if you can feel that. And then as you exhale, cross the thighs, squeeze, transverse abdominis. So belly muscles and pelvic floor draw in and up. They activate. And if you're not getting that, I have many, many videos about what I call the four deep core muscles, which part of it is those belly muscles, transverse abdominis, and pelvic floor. And just like our fist, we can get them to move. Picture them opening on the inhale and closing. This is a huge benefit for the pelvis. Very stabilizing muscles. And find your breath. Take it last one, external rotation and abduction. And then come all the way to the center. You're gonna let that left thigh just cross over the right thigh like you're hanging in a chair. Left thigh is going on holiday. The right leg's gonna do the work. You can take your arms out to your sides just to kind of keep your shoulders landed, keep them soft. Feel the big toe side of the right foot and on an inhalation, drive that big toe side into the ground. Legs go to the left. Exhale, flat foot back to center. Feel the pinky toe side of your right foot. Inhale onto the pinky toe side, legs to the right. Exhale, center. So instead of just letting them fall, I'm doing a little work here. I'm pushing into the foot. And then I can also think of lifting the upper hip or pushing the, the lower hip into the ground. Also add the arms, whichever way the legs are going, reach that opposite arm overhead. Still just windshield wipering your vehicle. Head flow. And see if you can initiate the movement. Start it up. Start that vehicle movement from different places. It's just like you've got four wheels on your car, right? You've got a left front and a right front. I think if that is left hip, could be your left front wheel, right hip is your right front wheel, and your shoulders are your back wheels, right and left. Use all four wheels. Last one. Back to the center. Just lift your legs up for a moment if you'd like. And you can hug the thighs in or even gently rock on the back of the sacrum and the pelvis, back and spine. Mm. Love up your vehicle. And then take that right foot back down. 
left leg still hanging. It's just the passenger here on this ride. But we'll take the arms up towards the sky. And this time, you can touch your left hand to your left leg. So your right arm is closer to your face. Take that left arm underneath the right. Turn your palms towards one another and clasp your fingers into a basket. And then instead of reaching the arms up, <laughs> plug your arm bones in. Let the shoulder blades land. But you're going to do your best not to bend the elbows. If they have to bend, that's okay. But squeeze your arms reaching, hands right over your face. Feel the pinky toe side of your right foot and maybe feel the left shoulder blade. And as you breathe in, left shoulder blade into the ground, pinky toe side of right foot into the ground. Exhale, back to center. Let the knees fall to the left and arms to the right. So what I like about this one is it really brings it into the torso more. You get a feel some of the muscles around your rib cage, your oblique muscles. Taking a little side to side rotational movement. Maybe your head wants to join the ride. And just the right amount of effort for you. Pushing into gravity with the bottom hip or shoulder blade on the inhale or lifting away from gravity with the top hip and top shoulder blade, opposite sides, right? That's the other thing. This is more of a cross body movement. And you're gonna, the sh right shoulder blades doing more of what the left hip is doing and the left shoulder blades doing what the right hip is doing. Last round. Good stuff. All right. Let your vehicle come once again to a resting position. Roadside stop. Wherever that is for you. And take a moment just to be present in the stillness of your vehicle. Turn it off. Notice what's there. Checkpoint. You can feel your breath. There's your fuel. Mm. Is your body landing differently on the ground? How does your vehicle feel now? Where is it in contact with the ground? And is it different from when we started? Where does your rubber meet the road? All right, and then we're going to be switching positions and we're going to be coming up onto all fours. So if being on knees is something that you prefer not to do, you can skip this part of the video or what I highly recommend is you can double up your mat or even put a blanket on your mat. But your knees could be on the doubled mat and then you're going to take your hands wide apart. I even like to think of grabbing the edges of the mat and then take your knees close together like you somebody just sewed your inseams together. So when we're creating the windshield wipers, we're moving from the legs, the pelvis was staying still on the ground. But we can do that same thing and move from the pelvis. So now as you inhale, take your hips to the right, still like a windshield wiper movement. Exhale back to center. Inhale, hips to the left. Exhale, back to center. I also have my hands in front of my shoulders more, so you can grab the mat or just spread your fingers so that there's not too much weight in the wrists. But inhale, really reach the hips to one side. Squeeze the thighs together. Exhale, center. Inhale to the other side. Exhale to center. Still just wiping those windows. <laughs> This is a perfect practice for Ireland because we have had a lot of rain and a lot of time using our windshield wipers in the last couple months. Maybe that's why my body needs this. And enjoy the side to side. My knees are slipping back. You can even stop and be still in one side if you'd like. 
And do the same thing with the other side. And back to the center. Once we're back to the center, we're going to come on to the belly. So take your time. And if your tops of your feet don't like to be on the ground, if your ankles don't like that, you can roll your toes under. I just want you to find comfort in your upper body. So chin to the floor, head, cheek. You can take your arms wherever it's most comfortable for you. Let yourself land on your front body. So whatever's touching the ground, let the ground support it and receive it. So maybe that's the tops of the feet, the thighs, the abdomen, the belly. You might even feel yourself more from your breath in this position and find that breath count. And just take a moment to rock your legs a little bit. Think of jelly rolling your legs side to side and see how that feels. Does that go all the way up into the hips? And then let the legs be still and shift the hips side to side or even make circles with the hips. Just feeling the floor underneath you. And bending the knees. You can place the heels about over the knees. It's hard to tell sometimes. But let's go with the windshield wipers again. So now as you're breathing in, drop both legs to the left. Breathing out, picking up to center. Breathing in, both legs to the right. Breathing out to the center. Still just a windshield wiper. And see how that feels? Sense the one thigh coming off the floor, the other thigh is pressing into the floor. Take your time, take it as far as you can comfortably. And then back to that center, release. Once again, you can move from your feet, or you could think of, if your feet are going to the right, lifting the left hip up, pushing into the right hip, back to the center, pushing into the left hip, lifting the right hip. Your pace of your breath. And then we'll pause. We're going to switch the movement just a little bit, and we'll go inhaling, we're going to cross the legs. doesn't matter which way you cross because you can switch each time. As you exhale, drop the legs open to either side. So inhale, cross. Exhale, drop open. Inhale, cross. That's the work. Squeeze the thighs towards one another. Might even press your shin into your calf. Exhale, let them fall open. Just feel that through the front of the thighs and even where the thigh bone comes into the hip. Just to play on your standard windshield wiper. And here's the next interesting part of the play. Next time your legs are crossed with the leg, the left leg closer to your buttocks, stop there for a moment and then feel that left leg and your right leg, keep that position, but see if you can take turns lifting one and then the other off the floor. So you're gonna lift the thigh and the front of the hip. And I like to lift on the inhale, release down on the exhale, let go. What can help you to do this to create more power is to push the back leg into the front leg, so calf into shin, Lift up, slowly drop down, that's part of it, is the control. Lift up, and come down. So right now, with the legs in this position, the, the hips are in more of an external rotation, just like in the windshield wipers. Just playing with this side to side. Back to the center, just switch the legs. So that now the left leg is more towards your toes and the right leg is the one closer to your buttocks. So push the right shin into the left calf, create some force, some muscular energy, and then inhale, lift the right hip, roll onto the left, exhale back down. Inhale, lift the left hip, roll onto the right. So this might feel like a little work. Feel that stretch in your belly. 
But what helps me is I'm still just turning on the windshield wipers. The only thing that's changed is where I'm moving it from. And also my relationship to gravity, because now we're on the belly. Still the same vehicle, different position. Take your last one. And come down. Let the legs come down. Shake out the hips for a moment. I think I'm sliding away. <laughs> shake it all out. And then we'll play with the version of that movement with the hips in internal rotation. So in order to internally rotate the legs, we actually bend the knees and drop the legs out to the sides. So that's the thigh bones are rotating inward. You might feel that. Your weight distribution is more on the outer thighs now and the inner thighs are lifting up. So you want to keep that position as best you can. And on inhalation, lift up just one leg. This one, you can't do both at the same time. Lift one leg. Exhale, come back down. Inhale, other leg. Exhale, back down. So I'm doing my best to keep those feet out to the side. Sometimes it helps to think of lifting from your inner thigh. And this will be a good one to get your gluteal muscles and your hamstrings going. Let it come back down and relax. So it's like, you know, sometimes you're driving and your windshield wiper gets stuck. You gotta lift it up, clean it off. You're just lifting up your windshield wiper off the window. Letting it come back down. Hope that's a good visual for you. <laughs> Honor your breath, though. Check in. Inhale for your whatever your count was. Exhale slowly down. Do one or two more if you'd like. So your hips like to know that they have that support from the gluteal muscles and your hamstrings. And then coming down. <laughs> like completely relax. Shake out your hips. All right, we'll be switching and going onto our side body and we'll roll onto the right side first. If you like something under your head, feel free to put a blanket or something there. You can also use your right arm as your pillow. That's what I'm going with today. And then stack your knees and bring your thigh bones up so that you can see them and they're 90 degrees from your spine. And then bring your shin bones forward so they're parallel to the long edge of your mat. So your legs are in an L shape, coming, growing out of your pelvis. And then pausing there and letting the big toe side of the feet come together. So this is one I often call clamshell and mermaid tail. But when I looked at it the other day, I realized really what it is, is a half of a windshield wiper with just one leg. So now feel your big toe side of your feet. And as you inhale, lift that top left knee up. External rotation and abduction, just one leg. And then let it come down as you exhale. Inhale, lift it up. Keep the big toe side of the feet together. Exhale, let it come down. So the only thing that's changed here, you might feel like more work for that outer hip because we're having to lift the leg away from gravity, out of gravity, as opposed to just letting it fall. Take your time, explore. And last one down. And pause. Next, feel where your inner knees are touching. And then this one we'll do on an exhalation because eventually we're gonna put this together, but feel your inner knees. And as you exhale, you'll think of lifting the top left foot. But as you do that, notice how your left thigh bone will spiral inward, internal rotation and adduction. Exhale, take it down. So, oh, excuse me, <laughs> inhale, take it down. Exhale, internally spiral. Inhale, let it rest. And just do a few of this. This movement on its own with that left leg. You can think of moving from your thigh bone, rotating it in and releasing. Sometimes I put my hand on my left hip so I can really feel that. 
And are you moving from your thigh? Are you moving from your foot? And then rest just for a moment. Now we'll put those two movements together. So it's still that internal and external rotation of the windshield wiper with just the left leg. Feel the big toe side of the foot. And as you inhale, lift the top knee. As you exhale, let the knees come together and lift the top foot. So think inhale, external rotation, abduction. Exhale, internal rotation and adduction. So it starts as a movement from maybe the foot or even the knee, but sense it in your hip. And if it's available to you, you can even add the core muscles of the abdomen and the pelvic floor. I think of stretching pelvic floor and abdominal muscles on the inhale. As you exhale, drawing pelvic floor and abdominal muscles in. So they naturally will come in and you're just adding to that, voluntarily asking them to come in and release on the inhale. But you can just make it more of a juicy hip movement. We're moving that left wheel. And as our car wheels do, we can go front and back. Last round. And then just let it rest. And here comes the, the tire rotation. Imagine your left hand on your left hip and just make circles. Circle that hip around. You can also rub your thighs together. Little vehicle check here on that left front tire. And then relax that. We'll be switching sides. Take your time. Coming on to our left side. Finding comfort on your left side might include a blanket or pillow underneath your head. I use my arm. But do what suits you. And then take your thighs, stack them together, bring the thigh bones so they're 90 degrees from the spine and take your shins forward so they're parallel to the long edge of your mat. Find that L shape. And land on your left side and feel yourself from your right side. Locate yourself on the right side. Sense the big toe side of the feet touching. And as you breathe in, lift that top right knee. Breathe out. Let it slowly come down. So there's control on the drop. Inhale, lifting up. Exhale, coming down. I like to think of it just like we wouldn't slam on our brakes in the car. You're slowly speeding up, 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 and slowing down, down, down. A little bit at a time. And sense the muscles around the hip. You can push the feet together to help them to turn on. You can also think of lifting the inner thigh. And here's that external rotation and abduction for the right leg. Pause and let go, rest. Sense where your inner knees are touching. And now find yourself on your exhalation and lift the right foot off the left. And notice how this thigh will spiral inward and then as you inhale, just let it come down and relax. Exhale, spiral inward. So initially you might find yourself moving from the foot, steering from your foot, but see if you can steal from your, steer from your thigh bone. Exhale. You can also begin to play with those Abdominal muscles, the deep core and the pelvic floor here. Exhale, draw the pelvic floor and the transverse abdominus in. So think of them drawing in and contracting as you inhale, release them. And then we'll put those two together. So letting your tire go right and left, feel your whole right tire, front right tire. And as you inhale, lift the top knee. Exhale, knees together. 
and lift the right foot. And just sense the way your leg is rotating out on the inhale and in on the exhale. Where's your fuel? What's your breath telling you? So if you're forgetting to breathe or you're running out of breaths, it's like running out of fuel. So stop for a moment. Stop and refuel and then start again. Hit one of those roadside stops anytime you need to. Last round. And then let it come down. And we'll rebalance that right wheel. You can just take it around in circles. You can rub your thighs together. Thank you, beautiful right wheel, right side of the pelvis. And from our side body, we have one last seat, one last position before we come back down onto our back. And this one is going to add a little bit of core to our hips and pelvis movement. So the wheels in the car are only as good as the chassis. So think of your torso as your chassis. And we want to use some of those muscles in conjunction with your wheels. So we place the feet on the ground. You can take your hands behind you for a little bit of support. And we'll start by inhaling and coming on to the pinky toe side of the right foot and big toe side of the left foot, letting the legs fall to the right. And then exhale back to center. And then inhale opposite way. And exhale to center. So think of riding those treads first and moving from your feet and your ankles, pressing into the big toe side of one foot, little toe side of the other. And then can you make this more of a movement from your hips? So lift the top hip and or press the bottom hip down. You can almost look over, get your torso involved by trying to look at the sole of your foot. So let your waist and the chassis respond, right? Looking at the foot. Still just windshield wipers. I have one bonus round here that'll bring a little more core in. So I'm going to move back because I know I'm going to start to scoot towards the camera. In fact, I think what I'll do is I'll face you this way so I have some space. You want to keep your feet a little bit wider so that when you come down, there's room for the knee to come onto the ground. You can now take your hands off the ground and either hold the backs of the thighs, hands to the waist, you can come up to your sides, but do that same movement. Inhale to one side, let your torso come all the way into rotation. Exhale back to the center. Inhale to the other side. And exhale back to the center. So you'll notice you'll actually start to move forward. <laughs> But let your pelvis and your torso work together. Leave yourself some room. If you gotta take it into reverse, which I do, you can do that. <laughs> reverse it. See, this one really helps to get those outer hip, the little glutes as I call them, glute minimus and medius. And getting that torso involved. Still just cleaning your windows. Last round. And come back to the center. So we're going to come back down onto the ground. All the way onto your back. Hug your knees into your body first. And as we did in the very beginning, just roll on your low back. See how that feels. 
And we have one more core one. So I'm just gonna show you for a moment that you've already done this. So when we were here and we were dropping the hips from side to side, think of that movement to some degree, but we've got the ground supporting us. So you're gonna lift your legs off the ground, take your arms out to your sides, and then on an inhalation, lift the hips. So remember you were moving from the hips when we did the knee one. Lift the hips and take both legs to the right. Exhale, draw back to center. Think of taking your legs back to center with your core. Inhale, legs to the right. Exhale to center. So we start with, I'm laughing because I can hear all the sheep right now. I can't make that up. All the sheep are out there, including the babies. It's really sweet. That's where my car is right now. But if this feels okay and you want a little more challenge, instead of bending your knees, take your legs up towards the sky. And then inhale, legs to one side. Exhale, use your core, draw the legs back. Inhale, legs to one side. Exhale, draw back. You might be somewhere in between, a little bend in the knees. Keep your neck and your shoulders as relaxed as possible. Might have to push into one arm as your legs fall to that side. But use your core power to bring those windshield wipers back to the center. And you do that on the exhale. Inhale, drop. Exhale. Back to the center. Last round. All right. Please let your legs come down. And remember where you started from, whatever your GPS was. In the very first movement, we were pulling out of our parking spot was we just did our regular windshield wipers. So place your feet on the ground. We'll go back to the standard windshield wiper movement as you exhale, just letting your legs fall to one side. Don't force them. Inhale, come back to the center. Exhale, let them fall to the other side. And take this time to repeat the very first movement we did, just to see how does your body respond? Does it feel different? Does it feel more freeing, open? Do you have more mobility? Just more expression of movement in the hips and maybe even in the torso, the legs. For me, my head and neck even feel freer. Letting the legs drop with gravity on the exhale. And now the effort is to lift levity on the inhale. Take your last one over to the right, just letting the legs rest for a few breaths. Say thank you to your vehicle. And come back to the center. Let the legs fall to the left for a few breaths. And back to the center. Feel free to put your car in a nice safe parking spot. So that might include blankets on you, something under your knees. Turn the engine off. And just feel yourself breathing. All of your tires, both your hips, your shoulders resting on the ground. Breathing into the body of your vehicle, the belly, the ribs, the chest, and the lungs. Breathing in, we just notice the arrival of the breath, the rising of the body. Breathing out, we slow down and let go. Just notice as you're breathing out, is there any place you're still holding yourself? 
or you're struggling, you're still working, and can you let the breath out bring you closer into the ground, into a deeper sense of support, Can you feel the heaviness of your vehicle? The breath out encourages that heaviness, the release. And the breath in is still there to create just that nice, comforting levity and spaciousness. Like opening your windows. can imagine yourself the steadiness, sturdiness, the support of having all four of your wheels on the ground. With the windows open, letting the sunshine in, fresh air. You can continue to stay present in this space of stillness, appreciating your beautiful, unique vehicle. And anytime you want, come up, take your time. Thank you for joining me for this windshield wiper class. If you can, are continuing to rest in your vehicle, enjoy. And remember to subscribe and thank you, patrons, for all of your support. Take care and enjoy the ride. Peace, joy, love, and light.